Hello my beautiful stars, welcome back to my channel. You might want to grab a drink and a snack because this is going to be a long one. Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my first ever yearly favorites. I have never done a yearly favorites before but I have been really good at keeping up with my monthly favorites. So I decided that a yearly favorites would be appropriate. Now, there is a lot of stuff. There's no particular order to the makeup or anything. Um, I'm just going to kind of do like skincare, body care stuff first, and then move on to the makeup, which is in a big, gigantic, very heavy box. So, let's get started. The first things I want to talk about are actually for hair, and I have three things in that category. And the first thing is the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco by OGX. This is actually my second bottle of it. Um, you don't need a lot. I've been using this bottle for at least a year, if not more. Um, and it works beautifully. It is so amazing. And it's just it's really great when I put it in before I blow dry my hair because then it protects my hair. And it's just it's fantastic. And the next two props are by the same brand. And the brand is called Rock Your Hair, and I love this brand because not only are their products great, part of their proceeds go to helping women in battered women shelters. I will definitely link the um, website down below in the description bar so you guys can check them out and hopefully order some of their products. They are on the higher end, but it is definitely worth it. I have their Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo, which is has quickly and easily become one of my favorite, most favorite dry shampoos ever. And it comes in a cute pink bottle with crystal rhinestones, see? So how can you not like it? The second product that I really love by them is their Leave-In Conditioner Weightless Detangler. I've been using this for a while and I'm only to about here. And so I'm really happy because you don't need that much to really kind of saturate your hair when it's wet. Well, your hair's already saturated at that point, but you get what I'm saying, right? It's a great product. It really does detangle the hair. It makes it softer, makes your style kind of last longer and hold. And if you hear any noise in the background, that's my dog. He's being a little pain right now. Um, but I love this product. Again, I will link their website down below. They're a fantastic company. I also did a review on I believe it was this on my blog and I will find that blog post and just link that down below as well so you guys can really get a feel for what their products are. I have some quotes from the company and everything in that blog post so you can definitely check that out and really get a feel for what they're doing for these women and how they're helping them and it's just it's a great cause so definitely definitely support them. Now on to kind of like facial skincare regimens. First thing is my, I have a lot of masks. I love masks. But my favorite mask is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Facial Anti-Stress Dead Sea Minerals Mask. As you can tell, it's definitely been loved. Um, I use this quite a lot. Actually, I'm planning on using it today. Um, not because I'm stressed out, but because, you know, New Year, figured I would treat myself and stuff. So, definitely one of my favorite face masks. I actually love the Freeman face masks. I think they're fantastic. Um, another thing is um, the Precious Cream Im uh, Im Immortal, Immortal um, by, Los by L'Occitane. Sorry, I learned Spanish, not French. Um, but I got this in a, like a 500 point perk from Sephora. And I love this cream. It is so luxurious and so thick that I just, I love using it. I use it sparingly though because it is really, really quite expensive um, to get the full size. I mean, it's definitely worth it, but it's, it's quite expensive. So I'm definitely saving this and using this on special occasions and stuff. And it, like, it came in a glass jar, so that's really nice. But my favorite, beyond favorite night cream is hands down the youthful bloom facial cream by botanicals by the sea i will link their website down below check them out they're 
absolutely amazing. All of their products. I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews of them in the next couple of weeks or so. Because I have a ton of their products and I love them. Most organic products break me out and make my skin look horrible. This stuff does not. It actually makes my skin look really well. They have um, like de-stressing products. They have pillow sprays. Not just skincare. And so it's really great. You should definitely check them out. Um, this stuff, it smells like lavender and chamomile. Ugh, it just, it smells so good. It's got some lemongrass in it. And it's really thick, really creamy. Definitely, definitely a night cream. Um, unless you have really dry skin, then it could work for you during the day. But one of my favorite things, and this is their 2 ounce bottle. And the website is botanicalsbythesea.com. And the next product I have is, um the last body product, and it is the Argan Oil, let me read the product, Wild Argan Oil Body Butter by The Body Shop. I got this when they were on sale at um, Ulta Beauty, and it is my favorite body butter that The Body Shop makes, because it is, their body butters have a varying range of thicknesses, and that is one of the thickest ones, and it is so creamy and so moisturizing. It is great to use, especially during the winter when your skin gets really dried out and cracked and it just icky. It's fantastic, and I love it. And if you have a chance to go out and try it, even just like try the little tiny tube. Not tube, they don't come in tubes. Try the, try the little tiny, little travel size tin. Um, definitely try it, because it is fantastic beyond my... My, hands down my favorite. My favorite, my favorite. Okay, that's it for body care and skin care. Now on to the makeup. So the first thing I kind of want to show you, I have to take the MAC lipsticks out because I put them in there just to kind of travel. But I love ColourPop cosmetics, as you can probably tell. I mean, I know there are people who definitely have a lot more than I do, and they have, like, the liquid lipsticks and the eyeliners and all of that. Well, I can't really do that right now, but what I do have, I am so grateful for, and I love it. I have hit pan on a good amount of these products, actually. They are so amazingly pigmented. I mean, this one is called In a Pickle, and it's a light pink um, matte. And my best friend gave it to me for my birthday. And you can barely see it. It's a really nice transition color, actually. Um, but I just, I love these products because they're so creamy. They're such a unique consistency that it really sets them apart from everything else that you can find. And the pricing is hard to beat. I mean, $5 for one of these in a store drugstore you'd be paying eight nine bucks for this easily so absolutely amazing I have their lippy sticks as well most of them are various varying shades of pink except I do have the um wet one which is the silver like grayish toned one you guys want to see what that looks like okay I'll show you really really quick it's really really pretty actually should have worn it last night actually that's what it looks like. It's just kind of like, a, I got it because it's just a fun color to play with. You know, not necessarily something I would wear out, but definitely something I would use. I have mainly eyeshadows and lippy sticks, but I do have one of their highlighters, and I have it in Highly Wasted. It is a little pink for me, but I use it underneath of, like, my um, MAC oh. highlighter and things I like that. You. And, um... Okay. It it looks right. great. Uh, okay. It looks really, really nice and highlighted. I really see. beautiful. I really kind of gives that strobing effect. So I Let really, really love that. these products. And you can use the um, eyeshadows as highlighters too. I mean, uh, where is it? Swan um, from the Rumor Has It collection is a beautiful highlight. Lots of glitter, but a beautiful highlight. And then I couldn't just pick one. A lot of these are I couldn't just pick one um, things from stores. 
And so I just brought them all out. And the next thing is my MAC lipstick collection. I know, for most, most people have like 100 MAC lipsticks. I have my nice little five. I like my five. I even, I got my first um, MAC um, Viva Glam lipstick and I got the Miley Cyrus one, which is the really bright hot pink. And I love it. And then the next color I have is um, Head in the Clouds, which is a frost. But it's this red with like a gold glimmer in it. And then um, my very first MAC lipstick, which is a cream sheen called Crosswires. Um, you can definitely use I've worn that one a lot. I love that one. It's my <laughs> actually my favorite one. And then I have... Um, Speak Louder, which is also a cream sheen. Cream sheen is probably my favorite um, formulation by MAC. Just because it's not too sparkly, it's not too frosty, it's not too glittery, it's just right. And then I do have one Retro Matte and Relentlessly Red, which is more of a pink color in my opinion. But to each his own. So I loved wearing all of these this year because I got most of them this year. Um, except for like one of them. I got the rest of them over the course of this year and last year. So I've really been wearing them this year and I absolutely love them. I think they're great. They're a great consistency. They're super pigmented, super creamy, except for the matte ones. The matte ones I don't like as much. They're very, very drying. So when I wear my retro matte one, I always have to make sure that I wear a lip balm underneath or something of that stature. Okay, kind of going along with that lip trend, I would have to say my next favorite of the year is actually the Bite Watercolor Lip Library. And a lot of people didn't like this because the lighter colors really aren't that pigmented, which they aren't. But they do leave a tint on the lips, and I'm okay with that. Like, I wouldn't want a full-on, you know, like, green or a full-on lilac or a full-on yellow, for that matter. So, you know, it's just kind of like, I'm okay with how it came out. I really like the colors that are bold, and I like the, col I like the colors that I like are really, really bold, and the colors that I don't like, some of them are still quite bold, but they're just, you know, not my favorite color. But I love this. I actually got this when Sephora put it on sale. <laughs> Almost knocked them all out. When Sephora put them on sale. And, um, so I got them for like half off. So, that was awesome. And then divulging from the lip train for a little bit, I have two Stila Eyes Are the Window Two Stila Eyes Are the Window palettes, and I have Eyes Are the Window to the Spirit, which I will show you what that one looks like. That one looks like that. And then I believe I have Eyes Are the Window to the Soul, but I could be totally and completely wrong. Nope, I was right. Eyes Are the Window to the Soul. And Soul is actually the first one that I bought. And it's these beautiful neutral colors, neutral shades, browns, taupes, things like that. And they're just really, really pretty. And they have the most beautiful packaging. I mean, the most beautiful packaging I've ever... Some of the most beautiful packaging I've ever come across. Um, hands down truly, truly some of the best packaging I've come across. And then this year, I know they came out with the Vice 4 palette recently, um, but I didn't, it, it didn't really appeal to me, but I love my Vice 3 palette. It is so fantastic. The colors are so stinking pigmented. Let's see if I can do this without blinding you. So pigmented. And they're so warm. I mean, look at that. Let's see if I can do a swatch on my hand. 
I mean, that's what those colors look like. One swipe. And no primer. They're not patchy. They're not chalky. They're just smooth and creamy and absolutely wonderful. Um, all Urban Decay eyeshadows that I've ever worn are. My Naked 3 palette is the same way. Um, so definitely, definitely if you can, give Urban Decay a try because they are a fantastic brand. Okay, we're going to stick with palettes for a little bit. My next favorite palette is actually a drugstore palette, and it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Comfort Zone Palette. And this I just mentioned in my December favorites because I used it while I was working on Miracle on 34th Street. And I used this side right here. And, but I really, really love this duochrome color right here. It's really, really pretty. Um, I've got stuff on my fingers. I should have brought baby wipes so well. But I mean, it, it's gorgeous. Just look at that. And let's see if I can get a swatch. I mean, in some lights it looks like reddish brown, other lights it looks green, other lights it looks teal. I mean, it's just, that palette is so versatile that it's, it's amazing. I love it. And then I became obsessed with getting the Wet n Wild Silver Lake collection, like the eyeshadow collection, and I was able to get all of the colors all five shadow palettes, and I love all of them, but my top three are um, California Roll, Thrift Store Chic, and Vinyl Collection. The ones that I haven't worn as much, but I still have worn, is Vegan Culture, and Embrace Obscurity. They are just great shadows for the price that they were at and I really love the wide range of colors from neutrals to like bright bright blues and purples I mean what a great way to speak to all of your audiences than to release a collection that is going to talk to all of them talk to all of them you know what I mean and then my big 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 palette purchase of this year was, yep, you guessed it, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit. And a lot of people were upset with this. I honestly wasn't. I really, really love it because I never finish up props and something that expensive, I would feel really bad never finishing up it up. But with the palettes being the yeah, the palettes being that size, I feel like I actually have the chance to finish a product if I really love it. And I love every product in that palette. I love it all. They are the perfect size for me. The perfect colors. Like, best money. Some of the best money I've ever spent on makeup. Hands down. Hands down. Some of the best money I've ever spent on makeup. Okay. And now for a kind of body thing, kind of beauty thing, it could go either way. Um, perfume. I have three perfumes here. My first perfume was the Vera Wang um, Princess Perfume from last year, which was called Princess Power. Which I was lucky enough, I'm almost out of this one. I was lucky enough to get another bottle for Christmas. So I'm really excited about that. And then I've really liked the DKNY My NY uh, rollerball that I have. And no, the dog didn't bite it. I bit it trying to get the lid off. And then my probably my favorite perfume from this year is Black Nirvana by Elizabeth and James. From Elizabeth and James by Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I mean, I can't wait to get my hands on the white rollerball. Um because this is absolutely amazing. It's a great perfume. So fantastic. Oh, and then another palette. I miss this palette. Is the Galaxy Chic Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is such a unique, beautiful palette. 
I mean, it's got bright oranges, reds, purples, lilacs, blues, browns. I mean, it's got like every color <laughs> under the sun. And it wasn't too expensive either because it's, it's BH Cosmetics. They, they speak to the masses. So, um, definitely, definitely something. I was a bit worried because it's the marbled, um, style of eyeshadow, but actually it worked really, really well. It worked really, really well. I was really happy about it. And then kind of a skincare thing was I love the Garnier BB Cream. This has been like my holy grail BB Cream now for the whole year. Um, I just, I love the Garnier BB Cream. And then my two highlighters for the year are Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill, of course. And then Max Soft and Gentle, which I have finally somewhat made a dent in. And then, <laughs> okay, I've got a lot of lip products because I have a problem and I love lip products. My first favorite I've kept in the box, it looks like this. And it's the, whoopsies, it's the Clinique Soft Matte um, Lipsticks, and they came in this special packaging, and it, I loved it, I loved it, and I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it in the box, because the background of it corresponds with what the color of the lipstick is, so I think that's just, that's fantastic how they did that marketing. That was really, really smart of them. And then my other Clinique lipstick, I got the Clinique Pop lipstick in Sweet Pop. Yep, Sweet Pop. And this is what it looks like. It's a square tube, unlike the usual round Clinique tubes. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And it, it supposedly comes with a primer in it. I haven't noticed any difference in the wear time, but I have loved wearing it. It is such a great color. Such a beautiful, like, dusty rose color. And then this is kind of like a newer favorite, but it's still a yearly favorite for me because I've been wearing one of these for a while. And that is, I got the, um, Treasure, um, uh, Lipstick. Thing by Too Faced, and it came with three full size La Creme lipsticks, and it comes with a nude, a dusty rose nude, and a like pow purple berry color. So I really like it. I love how they feel on the lips. They were they're a great product. Um, they just they work really really well. They're really moisturizing. They don't kind of they don't slide around surprisingly. And they just stay, but I mean, you do have to reapply it, but I'm okay with that for the moisturizing factor. We're just going to keep going with lip products here. Next up is my Bite Beauty Addiction to go with the watercolor lip library. I got the Best Bite Beauty Rewind, and I love the colors in this. So beautiful. And then I have actually the full size of their uh, matte cream lip crayon in Sucre. And it's this beautiful kind of rosy pink color. And that, that sucker stays. It stays and it does not go anywhere. And then I have two of the double-ended lipsticks, one in more of like a kind of nudie toned lipstick and then one that's more of like bright colors and like a bright pink and a dark purple. So there's that lipstick and you think we're done. You're, you're so funny. Um, I really, f I discovered the Revlon Lip Butters this year. Love them. So great, so moisturizing, great pop of color, really easy to apply, absolutely amazing. And then, um, 
my Buxom Full On Lip Polish. This is the kind that does tingle on your lips. And I really, really like that because it makes my lips feel nice. Um, and I love this color. This is the color Tanya. Yeah, Tanya. And it's just, it's really, really nice. I really, really like it. And then, um, this wouldn't be a favorites video or a yearly favorites video if I didn't mention lip crayons because, you know, those are my jam. Those are my thing. This one is by Hard Candy and it's actually a really, really nice, um, lip product. And then this one is by Revlon. Like, these are the two that I've worn the most this year. This one's by Revlon and it is called Vivacious. I'm wearing my contacts and they don't like to focus on really itty bitty words. And last lip product that I, last two lip products that I really, really love are um, the new NYX Lip Suede, Liquid Lip Suede's. I got this at Beautycon. I got actually three colors at Beautycon. So amazing. So fantastic. And then I love my two Too Faced Melted Lip Colors. I have Melted Candy and Melted Peony. So I have a nude and I have a bright pink. And they're both absolutely amazing. They're creamy. They stay on the lips. They don't bleed. At least on me they don't bleed. Absolutely fantastic. And now on to brows. For brows, I well, these kind of can go for brows and for eyeliner. But this is by Billion Dollar Brow, and it is their Glitter Brow Gel. And I like to use it on, like, special occasions, you know, so that there's, like, you know, just, like, a little extra sparkle in your eyebrow. And it's actually not that hard to get out, either. So that's a good thing. And then, of course, my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Express Brow Palette in the color Blonde, or Beauty Express for Brows and Eyes. Um, I've made, yeah, quite a dent in the color. You really don't want to see what the inside of this looks like. It is really disgusting. It's just got dust everywhere, so that's a thing. And then, where is it? We'll find it later in the video, ladies and gentlemen. And then for contouring, I've really, really been loving, um, the Ulta Contour Book. Because it is just, it comes with colors for every skin tone. It comes with two highlighting powders. And it just, it works really, really well. Like, really, really, really well. And it also, in the back, it comes with, like, I can't pull it out right now. But it comes with, like, an instruction booklet on how to do it or how to use it. So I thought that was a really smart idea. And then foundations that I've really loved this year are um, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And then I knew that was coming. That's why I was kind of yammering really fast. So I don't know where that cut off. So I'm going to start with my bronzers. Um, my favorite, two favorite, where's the other one? And my favorite bronzer this year has been um, Tarte's Park Avenue Princess. It's one of those ones that isn't too orange and isn't too like warm toned so it doesn't make me look red or anything so that's really really nice and then my favorite packed eyeshadows I should say because I have a couple of loose eyeshadows in here that I really loved this year um, that I loved are MAC Jest a really good all over wash of color MAC's Sweet Heat, goes like that, and um, this is one of their Extra Dimension Eye Colors. I find it works really, really well if you um, wet your brush before you use it. Works really, really nicely. And then um, NYX's like, Sparkly Brown and Sable. And then um, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. This one is really hard to get a hold of because it's so popular. But if you can get a hold of it, 
I say definitely, definitely pick it up because it's a great eyeshadow. Really best if applied with fingers. And then my two non-packed eyeshadows. One is from e.l.f. And it's the Mineral Eyeshadow and Trendy. And it looks kind of like that. It's like a brownish, tannish color. And then... Um, I, of course, have to mention this because I've been wearing it a lot, is my MAC Rose pigment. Um, that shows you how much you need. I've been wearing it a lot, and there's, like, no dent in it at all. And then, oh, another foundation I've been loving that I actually got from Influencer is um, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. And I love it. Absolutely love it. It is such a great foundation. It's a nice light to medium coverage, and it works really, really, really well. And then as for primers, for eyeshadow, I use um, the Maybelline 24 Hour Color Stay Tattoo colors, and I have one in purple. I have this one in pomegranate punk, right? Yep, pomegranate punk, which I don't think they sell anymore. This one in your typical naked and pink. And then um, this one's Bear Study. Barely branded. Bear Study is MAC, I think. But they're great. They make it so that your eyeshadows don't crease. And I've really discovered that this year. And I've been using that so that they don't crease or and they don't go anywhere. And it just helps them stick down and whatnot. And I also use my um, MAC Prep and Prime Eyeshadow Primer, which I don't know if they make this anymore because I got this at a CCO outlet, or a CCO, and, um, but it works really, really well, and I love it. I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. And then I love this Posy Tint by Benefit. It is my favorite, my all-time favorite because it is such a beautiful pink, and it's just, I can't open it right now. Or else I was going to show you the color, but, ah, there we go. But this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful color. And then, um, again, for primer. And so, this is the e.l.f. Eyelash Primer. And um, it's it's really, really good. It works, honestly, it works better than the Dior one that I have that I got as a sample. Um, it's really great. I really, really like it, but you can only get it on their website, eyeslipsface.com. If you would like, I will link that. Whoopsies! If you would like, I will link that down below, so you guys can check that out. And then my other two um, eyebrow products that I really love is my It Cosmetics Brow Power, and then my Anastasia of Beverly Hills, my Holy Grail brand for eyebrows, um, eyebrow pencil, perfect brow pencil. And so that's really really nice. And then, um, the mascaras that I really loved this year are the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, the Urban Decay Perversion, which I do have a full size of, I just didn't want to take it out of the packaging, and then, um, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, Holy Grail, and then, um, the Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express, which... I more use when I just want like a kind of very natural looking eyelashes, um, not so much for volume or length or anything, but more just kind of like, oh, there's something on your lashes, but there's not really like anything too noticeable, so that's really great. And then the eyeliners that I've been loving this year are, um... Urban Decay Perversion, my eyeliner favorite, 
Holy Grail, Holy Grail, Holy Grail. Rimmel, Scandalize, um, Eyeliner, and Nude. Great for when you're tired, great for when your eyes are red. It really helps to counteract the color. And then, um, the NYX Glam Eyes color in gold. I don't know if it's actually called gold. There's no color, so I'm just going to call it gold. It's a really pretty color, and I just kind of like, like doing it over, like, a right above black liner and winging it out. I think it looks really, really nice. And then my Ico Skinny Eyeliner, because this has become my favorite, beyond favorite liquid felt tip eyeliner that I use, and it's so great, and I love it, and it's fantastic and wonderful. So... That's it, guys. Um, if you stayed through all of this, thank you so much. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that big red button down there. That would really mean a lot to me. If you guys have done your own yearly favorites video, be sure to link them down below because I would love to check them out. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Happy New Year. Bye.